did you open this establishment? Uh, we opened up a brewery. It was me, my brother-in-law, and my sister. We did it because uh, we had other businesses that we, or one business that we did, and we got tired of working for other people. And we started brewing. Me and my brother-in-law, he's actually the one that got me into it yeah, about 10 years ago. So we started doing that. We were pretty good at it. Of course, we love beer, so we were really like, hey, tired of working for somebody else. Why don't we just do it and give it a shot? Did you ever homebrew before you started this? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what we started. My brother-in-law started uh, doing extract brewing like on the stove. It's a little pot with syrup and, and started doing all grain and that's when I got into it. Because there's like... The smell, the smell and the flavor of everything with all grain was, was really awesome. Yeah. We took, it, took off and ran with it. We were brewing all the time. Because what is the success rate? For a place like this, uh, it's really good now, especially for the market. Brewers are doing really good, especially if you have food like we do. Brew up, there's some tap rooms, really good. You have to have good beer, good beer, good people, good food. And do you guys have like, is it a real hoppy beer or do you have just an, a, a wider we range? We do it all. So we have a couple different IPAs. We have our best selling IPA. Is, uh, it's a New England style hazy. It's not bitter at all. It's the way that we put the hops in. And then we also have like a West Coast style that is for people that like the like hop heads. Nice. And we also do like a dark beer. We do a porter with black strap glasses. I love, I love porter. Thing. Why Queen Creek? Are you from Queen Creek? I'm uh, from Chandler. I grew up in Chandler, by the Chandler Mall, and my dad always used to take me to the pork shop as a kid, so I kind of knew this, there was nothing really out here, especially like a mom and pop, and especially a brewery. So, that's probably that's the first place that we looked at. Luckily, we fell into this spot. Was this your first spot, or you just looked around? Uh, we actually looked right across the street, and there was a building right next to the taco shop, and then this just happened to open up, like right when we were looking at going to Chandler or Gilbert. Work. Okay, I'm going to try a flight of beers, but I'm going to uh, get a re recommendation here from the expert. So, what do you recommend? Uh, you got to do Hell's Deep, you got to do Eric's Hell, a lot of resistance, and you can do our misconstrued. Hell's Deep. It's going to be a German style lager. Uh, pretty traditional to what Germans brew. Uh, light, uh, just like the lagers we brew here in America, but Germans are known to be a little bit more flavorful. I have a little bit of German heritage to me, so I love always to try the German beers. So, uh, let's take a sip. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's not really strong. It's really light. Oh, it goes down, actually it goes down way too easy. As a lightweight when it comes to drinking alcohol, I would have to watch myself drinking this one because it is really smooth. It doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have a harsh bite to it at all, which is really nice. Uh, the Old Ellsworth Eric's Ale is going to be a Mexican Vienna Ale, uh, very similar to the uh, Mexican imports that we get from down south. This will be more like the darker ambers that you get from uh, down south, though. We got Eric's Ale that he's getting ready to try. And this Eric's Ale, the one that's named after his grandfather. He named it after my grandfather when we first started home brewing. He was the first one to try it. Every time he came back, he would always go, where's the home brew? And he always wanted to drink that one because that's what we made. And he's just big on to that, you know, real old school. And so we decided to name it after him because he passed away a few years ago. And that is so awesome to name a beer after your grandfather. 
I would have loved to name a beer after my grandfather. Open up a brewery and have the uh, the Hansel Bailey. Unbelievable, but we thought it was just a really good name for a beer, especially that one. That was the first one that he drank all the time. It's one of our staples. Uh, the misconstrued is going to be a Keller beer. Uh, it's going to be a dry hop pilsner. So pilsner malt base, uh, same malt base that. Uh, Bud Light, all the domestics are used, but we did dry hop it to give it a little bit of bitterness and extra flavor. It smells like peach and passion fruit. That tastes really good. And the fact that they get the grain to make this beer locally. Uh, I'm just going to our dry hop pills here. It's uh, use cracked blue corn in it. Which is great on the uh, mile down the road, but I use some more local ingredients and gives a little bit of that flavor in there. It also changes the color a bit because it's blue. It's a little healthier for you, too. It's unbelievable. That's one reason you need to come down here and support this brewery. And then our newest IPA that we just released this week is going to be the least common side effect. Uh, session IPA, just a little bit of bitterness, pretty light, easy to drink. That was phenomenal. Right? When they bring you a beer flight, it looks like this. It's in a cool little holder, and then they mark with a, and then they mark with chalk, which one you got, and then they give you one of these, and it tells you all about the beer. Pretty cool.